Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The concept of righteous deeds and virtues of the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Do good, all of you, for I see everything you do. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The concept of righteous deeds in Islam is broad, as it covers all acts of worship that Allah has commanded us to do, as well as all good morals and good values that contribute to the construction of an integrated and interconnected society where tolerance, fraternity, and compassion prevail. The Almighty Allah says, Believers, bow down, prostrate yourselves, worship your Lord, and do good so that you may succeed. Allah also says, Tell my servants to say what is best. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The best of you is the best among you in conduct. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, the doors to goodness are plenty, including the glorification of Allah, praising Him, saying, Allah is great, saying that there is no God deserving to be worshipped but Allah, enjoining good, forbidding evil, removing harm from the road, conveying the message of death, guiding the blind, helping people with their needs, exerting your utmost with those in dire need, and giving aid to the weak as much as you can. All of these are acts of charity for yourself. The concept of righteous deeds also covers everything that contributes to the development of the earth, the advancement of the homelands and the benefit of man. As the Almighty Allah says, it was he who brought you into being from the earth and assigned you to develop it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if any Muslim plants something or sows seed from which man, bird or beast eats, it counts as charity for him. The Almighty Allah has blessed us with several seasons for performing righteous deeds during which reward is multiplied. One of these seasons is the first ten days of the month of Dhul Hijjah. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah are the best of days. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, there are no days in which a good deed is more pleasing to Allah than these ten days. On being asked even jihad in Allah's cause, he replied, not even jihad in Allah's cause, except when a man goes out in person with his property and loses both life and property. Ibn Rajab said, Allah has instilled within the souls of his servants the love uh, of his sacred house. However, not every person has the ability to visit it every year. Therefore, Allah made it obligatory to visit it one time throughout one's, one's life. In addition, Allah has made the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah a common and shared season among all Muslims, whether those who have the ability to visit the sacred house and those who do not. The first ten days of Dhul Hijjah are the days within which it is de desirable to make much remembrance of Allah as the Almighty Allah said, so that they celebrate Allah's name on specified days over the livestock He has provided for them. Mentioning the name of Allah is the source of life and tranquility for hearts, as Allah said, those who have faith and whose hearts find peace in the remembrance of Allah. Truly, it is in the remembrance of Allah that hearts find peace. Allah also said, men and women who remember Allah often, Allah has prepared for them forgiveness and a rich reward. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Increase your tahleel, saying, La ilaha illallah, takbir, saying, Allahu Akbar, and tahmeed, saying, Alhamdulillah, during these days. This is why Umar ibn al-Khattab used to make much dhikr in his tent during these ten days, and the people would hear him and repeat after him. Also, 
Abdullah ibn Umar used to make dhikr in these days in all his cases, either after the prayers and while sitting, walking, or reclining. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions, and followers. Among the good deeds that one can perform during these days is fasting. As the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, he who observes fast for a day in the cause of Allah, he would remove his face from the hell to the extent of 70 years distance. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, he who observes fasting for a day in the cause of Allah, Allah will keep his face from hell fire at a distance equivalent to that between heaven and the earth. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to fast on the first nine days of the Hijjah, the day of Ashura, and three days from each lunar month. The day of Ashura and three days from each lunar month. There is no doubt that checking on the conditions of the poor and the needy to fulfill their needs is among the best deeds that one can perform during these days. The Almighty Allah said, Allah will replace whatever you give in alms. He is the best of providers. Allah also said, those who give out of their own possessions by night and by day, in private and in public, will have the reward with their Lord. No fear for them, nor will they grieve. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to people. The most beloved deed to Allah is to make a Muslim happy, or to remove one of his troubles, or to forgive his debt, or to feed his hunger. That I walk with a brother regarding a need is more beloved to me than that I seclude myself in this mosque for a month. O Lord, accept our good deeds and guide us to all that you love and are pleased with.